Hello and welcome everyone to our channel Pavli. So in this video we are going to learn how to share brochure of your coaching institute on WhatsApp when, when a student fills the inquiry form. Okay. Now here let's suppose I am running a uh, coaching classes. Okay. So for that coaching classes I have created a website and into that website I have added a form. So every time a student is going to fill that inquiry form, I want to send a WhatsApp message to them containing the coaching classes brochure. Okay. So here you must be thinking how I am going to do that and how is it possible. So let us understand the process. So for this I am using two software applications. The first one is Elementor. So here the idea is I have created a coaching classes website page with the help of WordPress and into that I have added a form, I have embedded a form with the help of Elementor. So instead of Elementor you can also use any other form builder. Okay, then I am using WhatsApp which is a famous chat application to send the coaching classes brochure. Now here the issue is Elementor and WhatsApp do not have any direct contact or any native integration. So how I am going to send the messages automatically every time a form is submitted? Either I have to collect the data manually and keep on sending messages. But don't you think this process will be very much time consuming and repetitive? So that is why I would suggest you to bring in some automation. How? Let me tell you that in this video we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which is going to build a data flow between Elementor and WhatsApp. So here what will happen is every time the new form submission will be made into Elementor by a student, a message will be sent to that student on, their, on his WhatsApp automatically containing the brochure of my coaching classes. For example, if a person named Alex is filling the form into my website, so to Alex the message will be sent automatically on WhatsApp. Isn't it wonderful that just with the help of Pabli Connect we will be able to share uh, to integrate these two different software applications. The best part here is to use Pabli Connect you do not need to have coding skills and programming knowledge. It is actually very easy to use. Any non-technical person can also use Pabli Connect really very easily. So now let us understand this complete process that how I am going to build that automation on my screen along with a real time example. Okay guys so here you can see this is the website which I have created for my coaching institute which is PCA Education Network. And here on my website I have embedded this form with the help of Elementor. Basically I created this form with the help of Elementor and this is the complete website. So here you can see. Uh, this is the form every time a person is going to fill and submit this form the message will be sent on to their whatsapp along with the coaching classes pdf or we can also say the coaching classes brochure so let me show you the brochure as well so here you can see into my google drive i have created this pdf and this is the brochure of my coaching classes so this will be the same which is going to send on whatsapp so now let us understand this process what i am going to do right now is I am going to submit this form, fill this form and submit this and then we will directly check on WhatsApp if the message to Sam John or for the person which I am filling is sending or not. So for suppose I am filling this per, uh, form for Sam John. So Sam John is the person who is filling the form and let us complete the message so it is uh, sent as soon as possible. Soon as possible. So this is the message and here is the complete form. Now let us click on send brochure on my WhatsApp. So here you can see the form is now submitted. Let us check on WhatsApp if the message for Sam John is sending or not. So here it is written this form was sent successfully. Let's check. Excellent. Here you can see the uh, message is here on WhatsApp instantly. So let us read it out. It is written, Hello Sam John, thank you for showing your interest in PCA Education Network and this is the complete message. And here you can see the link for PDF is also provided. So after clicking on this link, you can download the PDF of the coaching classes. So this is the gist of the process that every time a person is going to fill the form on my website, the message will be sent automatically onto their WhatsApp. Now here I know you must be thinking how did I manage to perform this task that the form is just filling and the message is sending instantly on WhatsApp that too automatically. 
So here let me tell you that I followed three very simple steps to create this amazing automation. So let me tell you what are those steps so you can also follow the same. Okay guys, so these are the steps which I followed to create the automation between Elementor and WhatsApp. So the step one is connect Pabli Connect to Elementor form with the help of Webhook URL. So first we need to log in into Pabli Connect. Then we need to connect our Elementor account with Pabli Connect. Or we can also say the Elementor form which we have created. We have to connect it with Pabli Connect with the help of Webhook URL. So basically this Webhook URL is as an address provided by Pabli Connect. We have to copy the same and paste it into Elementor in order to connect it with Pabli Connect. Then in the second step, we have to collect the data from Elementor form in Pabli Connect. Now as the form is connected with Pabli Connect, we are going to capture the data of the form into Pabli Connect. For example, if a person is going to fill the form, the details of that person filling the form will be captured here into Pabli Connect automatically. In the third step, we have to send the same data as new message on WhatsApp via 360 dialog. Okay, so now what we have to do here is the data which is collected here into Pabli Connect from Elementor. We have to transfer the same data to 360 dialog to send message on WhatsApp. Now I know here you must be thinking what is this term 360 dialog and why did I use that? So here let me tell you that WhatsApp do not allow us to send the messages directly. So that is why we are using WhatsApp's official API 360 dialog in this video to integrate WhatsApp with Pabli Connect. So I am going to tell you each and every step in detail on my screen. So keep watching this video till last. Okay guys, so now to start with the process in the browser section, you have to uh, in the search window, you have to type pabli.com. P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com. And here you can see after clicking, uh, after searching for pabli.com, this is the website of pabli.com. Now here we have to click on products and at products, we have to click on connect. So after clicking on connect, here you can see this is the landing page of pabli connect. This is what we are going to use, pabli connect. Now here I am going to click on sign in as I have already created my account into Pabli Connect. But if you are a new user and you too wish to create your account into Pabli Connect, you can also create it just by signing up for free from here in two minutes. So let's click on sign in. So now here you can see this all apps window will appear. Now to continue making with the workflow, we have to scroll down and at Pabli Connect, we have to click on access now. So after clicking on access now, here you can see this dashboard will appear. On the top right corner, there is a button named as create workflow. So we have to click on create workflow. So here this dashboard, will, uh, sorry, this dialog box will appear. So basically we have to give a name to our workflow. So right now I'm going to give it as Elementor to WhatsApp, Elementor to WhatsApp. So I'm giving it according to the topic Elementor to WhatsApp. Let me correct it. Okay, so I just provided the workflow name according to the topic. You can also give the name to according to your choice. So here the, after that, I am going to click on create. So after clicking on create, you can see this window will appear and you can see here the title of our workflow is created. Along with that, there are two boxes on my screen. So you must be thinking, what are they? What is trigger and what is action? So here, let me explain you that automation works on the concept of trigger and action. So trigger basically means when this happens, action means do this. Or we can also say that trigger is happening of an event and action is the response to it. According to our topic, the trigger will, will be when a form submission is made into Elementor, the action will be send a message on WhatsApp. Now let us understand this practically. So in the action, uh, so in the trigger window, in the choose app, I am going to choose Elementor. Okay, so after selecting Elementor, we have to select the trigger event. So the trigger event will be new form submission. After selecting the trigger event, you can see this webhook URL is provided by Pabli Connect along with the help guide. So it is written, go to your website and inside Elementor, edit the form you want to get integrated under the, uh, under actions after submit add webhook. Okay, so here what we have to do first is, we have to go to our website. 
in the WordPress and then we need to go to L our form and there with the help of Elementor we have to edit the form. So here let me take you to the dashboard of WordPress here. You can see here this is the dashboard of WordPress into my account here into pages. Let me show you the websites I have created or the pages which I have created. So the, here you can see the pages, all the pages are visible, which I have created. So let me show you the page which I have created for my coaching institute. So here you can see this is the page which, which is PCA Education Network. So I want to integrate this same page with Pabli Connect. So for this, I am going to click on Edit with Elementor. So once I'm going to click on Edit with Elementor, here you can see this, uh, this window will appear. So here. You can see this is the form from where I can edit it. So I'm going to click on this form and then here you can see this box will appear. So here we have to go on actions after submit. And once we are going to select that, you can see this option will appear. So from here we have to choose the action. There are various actions. We have to choose webhook. So after we choose webhook here, we need to provide the webhook URL. So let me remove the already existing webhook. Perfect. Now what we have to do here is we have to copy the same webhook URL which is provided by Pabli Connect and then we need to paste it into our this section webhook URL section and then we need to click on update. Perfect. So now here you can see the form is updated. Let us go back to our website. So here let us click on view. So now here you can see it has started waiting for the webhook response. So to capture the response here, we are going to make another submission and then we will directly check on Pabli Connect if all the details are captured or not. So for example, Jenny Thomas is the person filling this form. So Jenny Thomas has the message interested in physics class. So here let us now click on send brochure on my WhatsApp. So now here you can see that uh, the data is sent successfully. Let me read out the message for you. So, okay, the form was sent successfully. So now let us check on Pabli Connect if the same detail for Jenny Thomas are captured or not. So here you can see perfect. The data is captured. The name, email, mobile number and message. Perfect. Now what we have to do is we have to send the same details into 360 dialog by what sorry WhatsApp by 360 dialog in order to send a message on WhatsApp. So here in the action window in the choose app, I am going to choose 360 dialog. Yes, this one. So as I told you, we are using this official API of WhatsApp to send the messages. Why? Because WhatsApp does not allow us to send the messages directly. So in the action event, I am going to choose send template message and then we need to click on connect. Now I need to connect my uh, WhatsApp by 360 dialog account with Pabli connect. So for this, we have to click on add new connection. And here you can see to make the connection, we have to provide this API key and domain name. So you must be thinking what are they and from where you can get this API key and domain name. So let me tell you that you can get both of the these keys uh, by reading out the help text provided in the in this section. So it is written enter API key here. You can create API key in your 360 dialog account, log into your 360 dialog account, move to WhatsApp account page from the left sidebar and click on the generate API key button. Okay guys, so for this we need to go to our 360 dialog account. So let me show you my account. So this is my account here. You can see this is the dashboard of 360 dialog here. I have already created my account. So this is the dashboard. If you too wish to create your account into 360 dialog in order to send messages on WhatsApp, let me tell you that a link is provided into the description of this same video. So you can go through the link and watch the video that how you can also create your website into sorry your account into 360 dialog and send messages on WhatsApp. So my account is already created. I just need to connect it with Pabli Connect. So for this, we have to click on this WhatsApp account option. And here you can see this is the option of generate API key. So from here, you can generate your own API key and start using it. So I have already created my uh, generated my API key. So I will be using the same. So here the important point you need to remember is that while generating the API key, you have to generate it once and keep it safe. 
then you have to use the same API key in the workflows. Due to some security issues, you cannot generate the, uh, the API key again and again because it will not, um, it will create issues. So that is why you have to generate it once. So my API key is already generated. So I will be using the same. Then you need to provide the domain name. So here you can see this domain name is already provided into the help text here. So you can copy the same and paste it here. And then you need to click on save. And in this way, your account will get connected to Pabli Connect. So I have already made the connection. So that is why I am going to choose choose existing connection. And then I'm going to click on save. And in this way, my connection will be established. So now here you can see my WhatsApp by 360 dialog account is now connected with Pabli Connect and here you can see these boxes will appear. So first we need to temp, uh, so choose the template. So I know here you must be thinking what is template and what is the use of that. So to explain you this, let me take you to my 360 dialog account. So here you can see this is the option of manage templates. So basically templates are predefined messages which you need to create from your 360 dialog account in order to send them on WhatsApp. So you need to create them and then you need to get them approved. Then only you can start using it. So here you can see into my account here I have already created some templates and they are already approved. So I'm going to use the same. The uh, sorry the template which I'm going to use right now is which I have created. Let me show you the template which is this one send brochure. So this is the template which I have created and I'm, I have provided some values. So these values are going to keep on changing along with every new student filling this form. So let us choose the same here into Pabli Connect, which is send brochure final. This one. Okay. So let me tell you one more thing here that if you do want to create your template into 360 dialog account, you can create by clicking on this add template. And here you need to provide all the details. Then you need to provide the body of the template. So body is basically the message you are planning to send. You have to enter here and then you need to preview and submit it. So you need to submit your template to Facebook for approval and approval basically takes the time of 30 minutes to two business days. So once your template is approved, then you can start sending uh, messages on WhatsApp. So here I have selected my template. These namespace and language code code will be autofilled. Now we need to map the data. So let me explain you what mapping basically is the data which is captured here into Pabli Connect from the Elementor that same data will be available into this drop down kind of window. So here just by clicking once the data will be entered automatically. For example, if it is asked here to map the recipient mobile number, we have to click on this like uh, this and the mobile number will be entered automatically. So this is how mapping works. So this is the same data which was captured here. So right now next I'm going to map the so as I mapped the phone number, let us read the instructions here. So it is written, enter the recipient mobile number with country code that is into this format. So here while entering the WhatsApp number, you have to keep in mind that it contains the plus sign as well as the country code. Okay, so we already have the data into this format. So I mapped the phone number. Now we need to provide the next field, which is the name. So here let us provide the name, which is Jenny Thomas. Yes, the name was Jenny Thomas. So you see, this is how mapping works. Now what we have to do is we have to provide the name. So the name of my coaching institute is PCA Education Network. So I'm going to provide the same. So these are all the fields according to my template. If you have created the template differently, you have to fill the uh, map the data according to your template. Now we need to provide what is the purpose. So it is coaching classes brochure. So I'm writing coaching class. Okay. Now we need to provide the link of the PDF which we are going to send. So as I told you, I have created this PDF and the link we will be getting it here from my Google Drive. So here I'm just going to get the link here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste the same here. So here I just copied it and I'm going to paste the link here. Perfect. Now here you need to provide the website name. So the website is www.demo.com. So here I just provided the website demo. So I provided the website name. Now I and now here again, we have to enter the name of our institution. So here, let me provide the name, which is PCA Education Network. Education Network. 
so here i provided all the data according to my template so this is completely ready now we have to click on save and send test request and then we are going to check onto this whatsapp number if the message to jenny thomas is sending along with this link or not so let us click on save and send test request so let me read out the response for you perfect it is stable this means the message is sent on whatsapp let's check here Excellent. Here you can see this is the message for Jenny Thomas. Thank you for showing your interest in PCA Education Network. And this is the complete message. And the link is also provided for the coaching classes brochure. Let me show you here. So from here, the person can download the PDF. Excellent. So this means our workflow is now created. Let us check it on real time if it is running smoothly or not. So for this, what I'm going to do right now is again, I'm going to make a new submission here into my website form. And then we will directly check on WhatsApp if the message is sending instantly or not. So let us do the submission here. So this is the website. Here is the form. For example, this form is now filled by, by Tina Manuel. Tina Manuel is the person and she's filling the form. So let us leave this message blank. It is all optional. So let me click on send on send brochure on my WhatsApp. So here the form is now successfully sent. Let us check on WhatsApp if the message for Tina Manuel is sent or not. So let's check. Excellent. Here you can see this is the message for Tina Manuel. Thank you for showing your interest in PC Education Network and the complete message. Again, the link is also here. Isn't it wonderful that the form is just filling and the message is sending instantly on WhatsApp along with this link, which is of PDF. So this is the PDF again. This means our workflow is running smoothly and very finely. The message is sending instantly as when as the, um, as and when the form is filling. So let us do a short recap what we did so far. So here in the first chap, we integrated Elementor with Pabli Connect with the help of Webhook URL and then we collected all the data. Then in the second step, in order to send the messages on WhatsApp, we choose its official API WhatsApp by 360 dialog. And according to our template, we mapped all the data. And in this way, our workflow was created. Now, let me tell you one more amazing thing here that the workflow which I have just created, the link of this same workflow is available into the description of this video. So you can simply copy the link and start using this amazing workflow into your Pabli Connect account just for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate plenty of applications with the help of Pabli Connect. This was all for today's video. If you have any feedback, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli .com. or you can also ask your queries at this link here. And if you want to check the price for Pabli Connect, you can check the price from here, this link and automate your business. If you like our video, do not forget to press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And for more such videos, you can also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.